All right, everybody, welcome all back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Wayward. It's good to see you. It's good to have you. It's good to meet you. It's good to have you in the vicinity while I play this game. So we probably want to look around for iron tools and like other things to make our lives easier. Uh, I would like to move things along and make it so that I'm not constantly worrying about my tools, which at the moment are made out of stone, which I don't know if you knew that. So there's rocks with limestone in there. Limestone would allow us to get some carbon out. I think. But aside from that, I can't... Oh, there's snow over here. Interesting. So we must be near the summit or something. As of right now, the game doesn't have altitudes or anything like that. So I think the biomes are just supposed to represent certain things. There's a slime corpse. What can I make out of a slime corpse? Can I do anything with it? Cool. I got a slime gelatin. Nice. I converted him to gelatin. My menu's closed on me again. I've got a knife right there. I'm gonna put the spear in just in case I gotta duke it out with anybody right now. And that comes from the ancient, it's actually the ancient form in ancient Anglo-Saxon language to duke it out. It essentially means just to battle shit each other. If you've ever played a game of battle shits, you're on the right plan. You already know what's up. You already know what's up. We can make some glue, actually. I hadn't actually considered glue as a possible thing that we can make during the course of this playthrough. If you were wondering how we make the medicine, the medicine drops randomly from trees. It's like a rare spawn. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. But basically, if you chop down trees, eventually you'll end up with medicinal herbs at one point or another. And it just takes a bit. I wonder, like, oh shit, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that at all because gathering off of a wall with a spear just doesn't seem like an effective way to make that happen. We'll unequip that right there. Let's see if we... Oh, yeah, there's that iron. I want the iron first. Give me that shit. Yep. I don't know if that affects the payload and, like, the amount of iron that you get. But now it looks like we've got some iron ore. And honestly, iron ore is tough to come by in real life. I know in video games you can always just, like, shear it off of a wall. But actually getting iron is kind of a pain in the ass without, like, modern smelting techniques and stuff like that. Like, I promise you, it's not easy. Uh, we can get dinner right here if we feel especially violent. I mean, it's a great opportunity for us to make our tactics score better anyways. And so we can pin this little bastard over here and then carve him up a little bit and make ourselves a meal. I'm not too intensely worried about getting bit by spiders or anything anymore. And it seems like they know that their end is not... Oh good, he dealt no damage to me. That's my favorite type of damage. None. Damage that comes from a nun. Those of you that went to Catholic school, you know... You know I can hear you nodding through the internet. You're like, oh my god, them nuns do some damage, bro. Them nuns do some damage, bruh. We're gonna drop all of that shit. Oh, we cannot drop stones right here. Technically, I could spend my time dropping those so that I could throw better. But I'm feeling lazy right now. We gotta hike a bunch of bullshit back to our house anyway, so who gives a shit? I don't know. We're hiking with 65 pounds on us right now. That's not the worst backpacking load. And in fact, that's about what I tend to try and limit myself to. 60 pounds to 80 pounds is kind of when I'm backpacking and I'm trying to... What is that, a chicken? What the shit is that? Holy shit, it's a chicken. Who knew that there were chickens around? I wonder what slimes do. Are slimes hard to murder? I need somebody who's like a slimologist. Somebody that's out there that knows what's going on with the slime world. Can I start a fire in here like really, really easily? So let's say that I make the fire in there. How do I rogata some iron? Yeah, rogata some iron. Oh my god, it unlocks new stuff that we can do. Oh, this is gonna be the shit. So we can actually make ourselves like real loot now. We can make a wrought iron sword. We need a lit forge and an anvil. So I gotta stand in between them maybe? It does a ton of damage. So it's tempting. I don't know if I should focus on defense first or if I should focus on offense. I don't know which is smarter. I mean, we're wearing wood right now. So we've just got like, I don't know, Peter Pan type dryad armor attached to our body at the moment. And I think if we can get into iron, though, we'll have a pretty good chance of surviving down in the dungeon. So we can finally start out with that. Oh, we can make lock picks, we can make helmets. Well, here, let's fill in. So we've got a gorget. Yeah, we need a lit forge and an anvil. Can I do it from right here? So I think I, what I'm gonna have to do is I think I'm gonna have to space these differently. I don't know, this is a little odd. If I can't figure it out, I'll Google it, don't stress. A lit forge and an anvil, unless that's a, oh, that's a furnace, that's not a forge. 
That's a furnace. That's not a forge. So the next question becomes, how do I make a forge? A forge and anvil. Oh, do I have to light that too? Oh, I have to light that too, I bet. Here, let me see what I can do here. Yeah, we need kindling. Uno momento, por favor. I'm excited about this. I don't usually survive this long. This game can be very, very random. You can never quite tell with this game how things are going to go for you. Like, sometimes you last forever, and sometimes you die, like, instantaneously the moment you spawn. It's almost impossible to tell what you're going to get on any given occasion, either. I need sticks. I don't have any sticks right now, so I can't make kindling. Give me some sticks. Give me some sticks. I want them sticks. Don't give me no bricks, because I want them sticks. Uh, I don't want to chop down a tree with a hammer. That seems like one of those real classic exercises in futility. I don't need logs though either. I just need tree branches and shit. Uh, you know what? What am I making this out of? Yeah, make me some twigs then, because I just need kindling or whatever. I don't need like a ton of this shit. And then I've got the tree bark. Oh, it's because there's a W right there. That's why the thing isn't coming up. I'm sorry, my sorting was off. Let's go ahead and focus on getting myself a huge stack of kindling if I can. Ah, oh, shitty balls, my fire went out. Can I cook next to this thing? Is that possible? Can I cook here? I can. I can cook in my forge like the ultimate badass that I am. Cool. Well then, oh, I'm gonna eat that dubious cooked spider. I would argue that all cooked spiders are dubious. That there's really no in-between right there. Ah, uh, we have to light that too. That makes more sense. Okay. So we've got a breastplate. How about we fill in the slots? Oh, we made a gorget on our first go. 29 durability on that bitch. Is it heavy though? How much does it weigh? It weighs three, so it is reasonably heavy. We can also have some gauntlets, which I would say this guy is actually pretty skilled. I'm surprised how well he's doing at this. Like if you sat down and you were like, hey bitch, make me some gloves out of this rock that I just mined out of this wall. I'd be like, what, the, are you on something right now? Are you out of your goddamn mind? I don't know how to do that. Like. What do you expect me to do right now? I'm not that guy. Move all that over. I will move as much as I can over to the container right now. And I, I don't know. I like this game because it's kind of like the long dark where it's a little bit more contemplative. Like the game is a tad slower. Like you don't have to focus quite as hard on surviving like outright. But at the same time, there's stuff to work on. Like you get what I mean? Like it's slow, but it's still entertaining for me for some reason. Like the game is very, very slow. It takes you a long time to accomplish even like simple things because there's a lot of crafting to be done. However, I like the game a lot and I find it to be a lot of fun. So I hope you're fi finding it to be the same way. I kind of want to fight that slime, but I don't know if it's worth it. It's it's worth it. We one shot him. Cool. Carve that slime up. Make myself some glue. Need a fire source to do that though. Oh, it takes water to make glue? Mm. The bone pole, I haven't really figured out what it's good for aside from sharpening and making a bone. And then you can make a bone needle. And then if you've got a bone needle, you can make a bone lock pick if you're needing to pick a chest, I guess. I haven't seen any chests or anything around, so let's do some scouting. Now that we're ready for war and ready for conflict, I think it's a good plan. What is that? Amber? Amber has been prized for a long time. I think the red spotted mushrooms are bad for you. I can't recall. But I think bad things happen when you eat those. Like, I don't know if they make you like hallucinate or whatever, but I, I get the feeling that something bad happens. There's a chicken over there if we wanted to. What is that? That's bark. Let's just scout around the edges for a little bit and see what we find here. There's a rat inside of there. Depending on how hungry you may or may not be, that might be an option. Go ahead and make... My tinkering has apparently gone up to 32. Make another lockpick, I guess. Just a bunch of lockpicks in case we gotta do any burglary right now. Flock some houses out in this area. Dude, there's a snake right there if you wanna fight a snake. I don't wanna get poisoned, though. It's difficult to tell, like, in nature if snakes are gonna be poisonous or not. In general. Mm, there are some snakes that look like poisonous ones just to, like, deter people from messing with them and then on the other hand some snakes actually are poisonous and so it can be a little terrifying if I zoom out where are we right now compared to our original campsite it's got to be over and down this way I think we should probably get the stuff together to make a kiln but it's going to be so heavy to carry a kiln around with us that I just don't feel confident about it we need a light source oh we've got another there's our chest right there 
So that appears to be kind of the configuration of our island, I guess. What was in here? Just a bunch of pineapple seeds? I will take all those pineapple seeds because we're probably going to be planting them at some point. Seems like a good plan. We've got exceptional tinder. It bursts in the flames with a single look. You look at that shit and boom. There it goes. What the hell is that? A living rock? What kind of magical realm are we existing in right now? Yikes. I don't like this. Let's get some free iron though. Nobody will ever know the difference. My stone knife has been destroyed by my chiseling. I am a chiseler of the highest quality. It looks like we got some more down in here too. Hopefully the iron's not too heavy, so we don't have to like, hike it back too far in order to make this work. What is this? Sandstone with niter. Okay, so niter and saltpeter, I think, are how you get yourself explosives. I don't know if you can craft guns yet in-game, but we can give it a go. And there's our niter, I guess. Sometimes it's spelled a little differently. There's two spellings. There's the American spelling... And there's the English spelling, because apparently a hundred years ago we decided we had to complicate things even worse than things are already complicated in the English language. Like, you know what? Why don't we just sit down just to completely and totally spite another group of people? Just because we're salty, and we're just going to spell things our own way, because we can. Whatever. We can, and it makes you upset. You are so... Like, that, that's what convinces me. People never stop being petty. People will be petty until the end of time. I'm going to use this to... We actually could use some water right now. I'm gonna drink some water. And that actually took care of everything for us. We don't have anything to worry about now. That's shallow seawater. That's seawater that's just concerned with looks and having like the, the Dolce and Gabbana clothing and you know, all that kind of stuff. Can't go out without the Ray-Bans on. I'm gonna stab this spider to death real fast. He dealt no damage to me, but did it hurt my armor? That's the part that concerns me here. See, my gauntlets are looking a little scuffed up right now, aren't they? I don't like that. It's hard to come by iron right now, and I don't know where I'm going to be able to get more of that shiz. But we probably want to be careful about using it all up. I wonder what glue is good for. I don't really know. I should probably sit down and go through, like, all the random stuff that I can craft here. But there's, like, so many things on the list, and new things pop up once you reach, like, new tech tiers and whatnot that... It, it, it kind of it takes some effort. Oh, there's just, like, one little patch of deep water right there. With my luck, that's the one that I would step into. What is that? Talc. Oh, cool. Just in case we're overly sweaty. We get ourselves all nice and talked up. Gotta make sure we don't get ashy or whatever. That's cool. Just talc it on up. That's chill. I don't know what the talc is good for, like what it's going to help me with. But my suspicion is that once we make a mortar and pestle, we'll find out. Oh, there's another entrance to the dungeon right there. I think it's worth it to go look inside the dungeon and see what happens. Maybe it's just me. And maybe I'm just being, what is this? That's limestone. Limestone should be a pretty good source of carbon, I think. Oop, I don't want to pick up a bunch of pebbles right now. Nope, my name is not Fred Flintstone, therefore pebbles I do not pick up. Chuck those into the ocean, because that's what we do with all of our debris. That's right, take that ocean, you don't know us like that. I'll litter in you all day long, because it's medieval times and we don't even know better. We don't even know better. And then what I would probably recommend is lighten this bitch up right here. Damn. We are not good at this. We need to work on it. Gotta work on it. Alright, and so now... I would say that rogating some iron is probably a good idea. So let us rog some iron. Oh, we broke it. Oh, my hammer broke. Never mind. My hammer's broke, okay. Can I make, like, a better hammer? Like, can I make tools or anything of the kind that are slightly stronger than what I may already have? I mean, I'm going to move that to my inventory right now. I'm going to move the pole over. And then I know I've got... Oh. I used it. Okay, I guess I used it all up. Then move it all to my inventory, son. And we're going to get back on top of this. Let's go ahead and strip some bark then, I suppose. Man, we go through a lot of materials, don't we? We go through materials like we just don't give a damn. And because we've got an exceptional string, I'm going to try and make a good bow. And I don't know how successful I was there. We made a 31 durability bow. So that's pretty funsies. Let's make... I think I needed string in order to make this all work. Although my poles have vanished on me too. Eat some berries real quick. And, wait, what don't I have to make this happen? 
I've got my string, I've got my rock, I've got my pole. What am I missing? Did I like not pick those up? There we go. Now we make the hammer. Oh, and if you have the hammer, you can make the better stuff. See, that's what I was looking for right there. If you got the hammer, you can make the better-ish. Okay. I'm feeling a tad more confident right now. Move all these leaves over so that I can burn them. Like, they just sit there and I just berate them and burn them over and over and over again until people are like, Oh, he's a savage! He's a savage getting in that ass. There it is. I would probably say, Oh, we can make a battle axe? Bro. We can make such badass stuff. I mean, part of me just wants to have a spear because spears are the coolest weapon. If you're trying to survive, that's what I would go with. But maybe making tools is the smartest. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing saying that I can't use my tools to fight things. We only got one string left, though. Oh, it doesn't take one. Well, that solves that problem nicely. How much iron does that take? Just one iron? Okay, so we'll make the hammer. That's got 24 durability. Hopefully, that doesn't break quite as frequently. I will make myself an iron spear. Since this one's about to go anyways. And... That leaves us with one shitty iron left. What do we want to do with our one shitty iron? I don't know, a pickaxe maybe? So that gives us another tool that we could play around with. And then a shovel would probably be a decent plan too. Oh my god, that shovel is so good. That shovel is so good and it makes me so happy. Fantastic. Nice, 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 nice. I'm happy with where we're sitting right now. We may need to make ourselves a new fire bow too. You don't have any kindling? Well, I would love to have some. Do I have anything in here that I can use? I do not. I just have a shit ton of tinder. Great. Prepared pemmicans ready to go. We're not hungry. Not hungry at all. Alrighty then. Well, let's move that to the open container. Move that to the open container. We are going to equip the uh, good shit right there. Yeah, even with one hand, that spear is better than when us when we were dual wielding. What will the hammer do for my damage? It'll make it a little better, but I don't want to waste its durability on that. I think we probably need a torch or something next. I'm a little bit concerned about lighting when we go down into the dungeon. So we can make a stripped bark torch if we have a pole and five stripped bark. Seems worthwhile. Uh, equip that knife to my held. Let's go strip some more bark real fast. I know we've been real, real hard on, like, nature around here. But eh, sometimes nature got to take one for the team. It is what it is. So if I take the twigs right there, I need kindling. And then I need stripped bark, which is what they just told me. And then in order to make this happen, what was it? We've got torch. So that will be five stripped bark. Hmm. That actively takes some effort, doesn't it? You're going to want to have a torch in this game. Jesus. Okay, strip more bark, I guess. You spend a lot of time preparing things in this game. That's what I've learned. You spend a lot of time doing that preliminary stuff. My skills in lumberjacking have progressed to such an extent that I can chop a, tree, I can chop a tree down with a leatherman if I need to. That's how good I am. Make our torch. How long does that last? Providing natural oils to increase the life of the torch. Use this item on a fire source to start it on fire. But I can't light it once I'm inside the dungeon, right? That's the part that's got me a little concerned. So if I go over to here and I ignite that, how long is that going to stay? Okay, so it stays good for a thousand turns. A turn is one step, by the way, in case you were wondering. Let's go ahead and we will put that in my off hand. I'm going to put my iron spear in my main hand. We... We're going to move all of this over so that it's not inside our inventory anymore. We are actively getting there, but I need to make myself another chest too because it looks like we've maxed this one out if you take a look at 
what it can hold any longer. That's fine. I mean, I can drop all of my seeds over here. Dropping your seed all over the floor. Just to make it really, really unpleasant for the cleaning staff and whoever else has to come around. I've got some water left, so we should be fine there. If we got to go down to the dungeon, things should be okay. I've got pemmican. I've got sleeping all taken care of. Charcoal. Other things around. Another chest would make this. I mean, we're only going to be in there for like a minute, so... Let's just go find the door. We still got a thousand turns left until this goes out. I warn you, the dungeon is dark and the dungeon is deep. And deep in the dungeon, the monsters, they creep. Deep in the dungeon, you ain't want to sleep. It's like Freddy Krueger down here, man. The shit gets deep. So this would be the perfect place for hidden treasure, but first the area may need illumination with fire or a torch. Yeah. That's kind of what I assumed. What the hell is that? Ow. Okay, we're not ready. We're not ready. He hit me for eight. I don't even know what to say about that. Like, I'm not even sure. Eight damage is a lot of damage, son. That's enough damage to hurt. Ow! Yeah, he did 13 that time, and now I'm bleeding out of my face. Okay, let's never go in the dungeon again. The dungeon was a terrible idea, and I don't recommend it. Oh, good. I squirted blood all over the floor when I used a tourniquet. Maybe we should go back in once we have full iron gear. I may have misevaluated that one. I may have called the play wrong. We may need a mulligan. Or, you know, whatever the hell that's called in football. I don't really know. I don't follow football. Is that a bear? Please tell me that's not a bear. A bear wouldn't actually bother you in nature very much unless it has a cub. I mean, more than likely, it would probably just walk away on you. Can I gather this stuff right here? Like, can I gather... Let me... Equip that to held. Can I gather flowers? Oh, you got yellow flowers. Are they good for anything? Usually only useful in creating medicinal tonics or ingesting directly if the food supply is low. Oh, I can make that in medicinal water. Yeah, do it. And then if you make the medicinal water, that will heal our health along the way as well as taking care of our hydration issues. I was not aware that you could use the flowers like that. And so my recommendation would be that we gather a couple of these. Do they go bad? Do they rot? No, they don't. Okay. So that's cool. I thought you could only use the medicinal herbs that come from the trees for that, so... I learned things today. It looks like when he hit me, we're definitely gonna need something better than what we've currently got. What is that right there? Rocks with coal? Is there anything in here that's not scary? Was that monsters just being dicks to me? I think it was monsters just being dicks to me. I'm gonna tempt fate right now. We'll gather some nasty dungeon water. There we go. Can I place the torch? Like, is that buildable? Oh, shit. What did I do? It looks like I can actually deploy that. Oh, yeah. You can build it on the ground right there. What is this? What's the difference? Oh, it's gravel? I was going to say, what's the difference in the floor? That's a giant spider. I'm probably fine on fighting him. He doesn't seem that scary. However, that imp thing was not to be messed with. That imp was terrifying. I don't play those games with imps. Mm -mm. Not today. Not like this. I'm going to collect that because I need it. You cannot pick this up while it's lit. Oh, so I got to make like a ton of torches in order to make this work. Gotcha, boo-boo. Gotcha. I don't particularly like that. Can I boil that right there? Oh, I can. Hooray for me. I one-shotted a giant rat with a rot spear, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a spear made of rot. Who would have expected that it would have got the job done? I'm going to use that to carve up the body. I'm going to use that to carve up the body. Can't really see so well. And when you can't really see so well, bad things could happen at a moment's notice. Alright, well I ain't tripping. I mean... Let's go ahead and make some more medicinal water, just in case we need it. And that was the last of my flurs. I would prefer to not get lost in the dark, but... So do I have to light these with my bow drill, like, every time I do this? Or, like, how does that happen? And then also, I'd, I'd like to repair my bow drill if we can. There we go. Repaired my bow drill, so that's all back up and running for 16 more durability. That kind of hurt my wrought iron hammer, but what are you going to do? It looks like these things are breaking much more quickly than I expected. The shovel's the only thing that appears to be holding out right there. 
So if I dig, what happens? I get soil? Do I go down to like lower levels if I do this? Give me some dit. I mean, I would love to make some compost. Ow, I burned myself. No. So if I make that, and then like, let's say that I have compost, I would need soil and I would need, oh, I need two of the, shit, I did it again. I am terrible at my job. It's okay. It's okay. I have medicinal fluids. Oh, the fire, the burning already went away. Okay, so that's fine. Well, I mean, we're getting pretty good at, like, general tactics and murder. We're doing pretty well with this over here. I mean, as far as our skill list goes, we are moving on up in the world. Our botany, our camping, I mean, can I sort this by skill level? Because it looks like we're best at tinkering and lumberjacking. We're probably no slouch at mining either. Oh, yeah, we're really good at mining. We are hardcore at mining so that's good what is this stuff over here is that just grass what is that it's a wild onion yeah take some wild onion home with us why not i love wild onion cool ourselves a wild onion that'll be nice to have i love onions onions are one of my favorite things in the whole world so i don't mind at all i will eat onions all day long i'll eat them raw i love onions onions are delicious I might be a little weird for that, but this will also help out with our botany. And it'll supply us with some food for the future, so that's also a solid thing for us. Nice. Got a bunch of wild onions now. Walking all slow, though, so unfortunately... Looks like the dirt is weighing me down. I mean, I can get dirt from anywhere, so just drop it all. I can get dirt from right near my house. It's the giblets that I'm more concerned with. I need to kill a lot more stuff. Did I carve up this rat down here, or did I just kill him? Because I could use his bits. Oh, I didn't carve him. Yeah, let's carve him. Because I need his parts. There we go. Now, I go back down in here, and I use this to make more giblets. Then... How long did the giblets last? Uh, not forever. And we can use that to make a pile of compost now, which is pretty cool. And the pile of compost, my assumption anyways, is that we use this to garden. So we can convert probably tiles into gardening things for us. I'll probably drop all the tainted meat. No, I don't want to do that right now. I'll probably drop that. No, stop dropping it there. No. There. And now we got to walk back home, but that's okay because we're out of time for right now. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Wayward. I will see you all in future episodes. It's been really, really fun, everybody. And I will see you when we continue our little adventures. Damn, that dungeon be scary.